This is the red beacon light that I told you guys about the other time. This aircraft has already started its engines. So you see the light is flashing and there is nobody around this aircraft now. This is a piece Boeing 737 uh, 500 series. All right, let's look out for the rest of the lights and see what each one does. So guys, uh, like some of you, when I posted a video about, uh, uh, it's just a post about the external lights on the aircraft. So many of you wanted to know more about the external lights and the functions of each one. So let's go, guys. So starting the particular one is on now. Is the nose taxi light of this particular aircraft. Let me know, say, some of the air aircraft, you know, they are the same position, all of them, they, they, they are different lights then, the position. So anytime we start engines and we want to start taxiing aircraft, once the marshal gives us uh, the air traffic controller gives us the clearance to start taxi we put on this light and the aircraft will start to move that is what we use to see road when we maneuver the aeroplane for ground all right so that is it for the taxi for the taxi light so this one now is the nose landing light this particular one is the nose landing light so it's for when we are about to take off and for landing we put on all the lights so even this this they will be on at the same time for takeoff and landing till based on our own company procedures till 10,000 feet that is when we put it up but automatically once we raise the landing gear up once the landing gear enter the wheel well here the light on its own will just go up automatically so, but at 10,000 feet, doing the procedures in the cockpit, the pilot monitoring will put off all the lights. Same way when we are coming into land. Once we are passing 10,000 feet, descending into land, where they put it on, and the lights will not come on until when the landing gears are dropped. We have the landing lights. The landing lights of this aircraft, you look at it, it's at the wing. It's on the uh, root of the fuselage on the wing this on this side and bring it up and we have the one on the right side as well and the nose that i also said is also part of the landing light this one as well the three of them will be on for landing then the uh, the taxi light they put it up so if it's on now it will all be on that is for takeoff and landing all this has to be on all right so that is the red beacon light that i told you guys about the other time this aircraft has already started its engines so you see the light is flashing and there is nobody around this aircraft now this is a piece boeing 737 uh 500 series all right let's look out for the rest of the lights and see what each one does. This is the navigation light. This navigation light is two on each wing. Correction, is one on each wing on the right side, which is called the starboard side of the aircraft, is green. On the right side is on the right side is green. On the port side or the left side of the aircraft is red. I will still show you guys that one. Then, another one, you might not be able to see it. Yeah, zoom detail of the aircraft. There is another white one on top of the uh, vertical stabilizer. Now, this one, this green one on the starboard side, it covers from front view here. The one on the left on the left side on the port side is also 110 degrees. The one on this vertical stabilizer, which is white in color, is 140 degrees. So if you sum all of them together, 110, 110 is 220 plus 140 is 360. So at any angle 
you are you will be seeing this aircraft airborne so the function of this light is to uh in indicate the position of this aircraft so any aircraft that is airborne or taxiing on ground and sees the green we know that this aircraft we know the direction this aircraft is going to if he's seeing the red he will know the direction is going to if he's seeing the uh, light you know that this aircraft is going forward that is why he's seeing only the um the the navigation light on the vertical stabilizer which is the white one all right so that is just the function of this aircraft that navigation is to indicate the position in which the aircraft is both on ground and airborne especially in the night that stability there will be low that you can't be able to see all the aircraft and all that uh you won't be able to see all the aircraft so you use this light then to indicate the position of any particular aircraft airborne so when they are passing you or you are passing them you will know the side that they are or if they are at a distance from you you will definitely know all right okay now we have this flashing strobe lights we have it it's white in color on the two two sides of the wings it's white in color if you look at it it's flashing now the function of this light where we put it on once we are about to enter the active runway that is when they put the strobe light on and that strobe light will continue to be on till we land vacating the runway we put off this strobe light what it does us as, as well is to give uh, illumination for any uh, especially in the night to indicate to any other aircraft that this aircraft is on motion that this aircraft is on motion so we have this one on this wing and we have another one on the other wing they are positioned that same way on both wings so that is what the uh, that's the aircraft the light that we use to know to indicate to other aircrafts that this aircraft is on motion and is now moving for takeoff airborne as well you still see this same light with the navigation light they will be on i've already told you guys about the um uh the anti-collision the red beacon light the red beacon light which has to be on anytime the aircraft engines are on so if you come to this side as well if you come to this side as well you will see like i told you the navigation light on the port side is red in color and this the strobe light as well on this uh on the port side of the the port side of the wing all right is the wing inspection light it's not on now it's not on now once they put on this light now it will be flashing on top of the wing you use that light to inspect the wing to make sure that let's say we are flying in a place where there is uh snow or something so if, the, if that light is flashing on top of the wing from that through the window through the emergency exit window or through any of the side windows inside the cabin you can be able to look on top of the wing maybe the cabin crew or the pilot one of the pilots can look and now say and now you can mean if there is um icy or you know snow or uh, any uh, that will affect the uh the takeoff because if there's any moisture on top of the uh, uh, on top of the wind not just water if it's water there's no problem but if it's no ice or anything that will affect the performance of the aircraft for takeoff or for you know in flight you have to with through the with that uh, wind infection light we can be able to see especially in the night especially in the night time that is what the function that's the function of this inspection light we also have the logo light let's go to the back so now we cannot be able to see the logo light uh because it's positioned on top of the horizontal stabilizer so on top of it it will now be flashing to the tail the logo, the logo majority of the airlines are always positioned on the tail you can see like maybe lufthansa and uh, so many airlines the, their logo is always on the tail of the tail portion of this uh, aircraft of majority of the aircraft so with the 
with the logo light on the horizontal stabilizer, if it's put on, it will be flashing on that tail. It's mainly in the night that we see uh, these lights then flashing to identify or to tell other aircraft that are around that this is so so company and this is their logo. That is just for it. Aside that, I think that is just it for the lightnings on the body of the aircraft. In case if there is any other further questions that you have to ask about it, feel free, drop it on the comment section, then I will attend, it, attend to you on that. Thanks for following me. If you have not sub subscribed to my YouTube channel, always remember it's Captain Kalistus on all the platforms. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok as well. So do well to follow me for more contents like this. Share as well to your friends and well with us. But the ones in flying school, always also share to them so that they can also learn and ask uh, some good questions. Let's take a good look at this. They are just coming from Accra. They are just coming in from Accra. All right. You can see. So this was exactly the aircraft that I told you about. The, I told you earlier about the uh, red beacon light. You can see it on top and below. The engines are still on, so those lights are still on there. You see this one, the engines are not on. The, that is the reason why we cannot put them on. Just be watching. You will see once they shut down their engines, the APU, the auxiliary power unit is on now. They will soon switch off those lights. You see, the lights are off because the boat engines are already switched off. So that is just it. I hope we also learn from this. And if you know, want to know any other thing about aviation, aircraft or anything, like I said, drop it under the comment section. Love you guys. 